for your grace, your, grace, your, mercy, your mercy, your favor, your favor upon, my life. upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. We thank God for his mercy and his favor that he has given us another day, another chance. The only problem now is the temperature. Which one is good? This temperature or the other one? The other one. <laughs> Why the other one? Uh, not this one. Okay. This is October, the last week of October, I mean the last Sunday in the month of October. Remember that we are just remaining with two months in between. We are getting closer to 2024. And I want to remind you that we made a covenant with God Almighty. Don't take it like it is something that you can, you know, blush it off or you participate and then you, you remain behind. No. We are here to change the face of our family. Before you leave this world, what are you going to leave behind? For the children yet unborn, even your children and your grandchildren, you need to put up something that can, you know, be like a reminder to your family and the people who knows you that there was a man or there was a woman in our family. Amen. So, December is the last month. Hallelujah. December is what? Please. Once you default, let us know. Don't just keep quiet. No. It will not be good for you. December is what? I thought I should, you know, remind you concerning this one. It's important that you know that. We have made a covenant, and that covenant is not for fun. We are going to build the house of God. A beautiful and more than this one. I'm sure next year by this time, no one should do the way they are. Even your foundation will not be destroyed. You can put foundation, you can put pencil, you can put chalk, everything will be intact. The temperature will be normal like this one. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that you know that once you honor God, you honor your life too. He will give you that environment which will be very good to your health. Praise the Lord. My message this morning, people of God, I don't know, for the past, let me just say, it's now a second week. You know, Jesus said, peace is what I live with you. The only capital we need as human beings is peace. Where there is peace, there is progress. Where there is no peace, even progress will not be there. Even what we call economy, whatever, will not be there. There are two things you need to understand. And these two cannot work together. Darkness and light cannot work together. I want to bring this to your attention. That is the message this morning. The book of John 10, verse 10. The book of John 10, verse 10. 
and then the book of John 14 verse 27. These two. The book of John verse 10. What does it say? Are you there with your Bible? Or I should read for you. Hmm? Are you there with your Bible? Or I, I should read for you. Listen to uh, this verse 10, and then we read um, 14 verse uh, 27. <clears throat> this is 10. A thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. John 14 verse 27. This is 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. Only these two. A thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus said, I have come so that they may have what? Life. What are you calling inside your heart? Are you calling destruction or you are calling peace? These are two individuals who are here on earth. The one who is calling destruction and the one who is calling peace. Ask your neighbor, say, what are you calling inside your heart? Are you calling peace or destruction? This is the question you need to ask. If you are calling peace, you cannot kill. If you are calling destruction, you can kill. These are two individuals walking here on earth, standing on the same land where you are. This one is calling destruction. This one is calling peace. They are all human beings. Jesus came not to destroy, but to bring peace. A criminal is a criminal. A criminal is what? You cannot change a snake into a god. It's not possible. As long as inside you are a snake, you are a poison to your brother and your sister. No one knows what is inside your heart. Remember what I said last, the other week. I said the only secret that no one knows about your life is inside your heart. Anything you have shared with your brother, your sister, is no longer a secret. Even if you say, my wife, this is a secret. One day you are going to slap your wife. If you slap her and she feel that pain, oh, oh you think uh, you can slap me like this? You remember you killed that man. You go to prison. Can you call that one a secret? No. As long as you are a snake inside your heart, you are a poison to your brother and your sister. You cannot carry peace. It's not possible. It's not what? You enjoy, you know, seeing blood on the ground, you feel good. But if Jesus is in your heart, you are calling peace. You become a brother's keeper. You care for your sister. Even if your sister or your brother, they are offending you or they have offended you or they have done something bad to you, you will not pay them according to what they did to you. 
Because Jesus is in you. You are representing Jesus, the peacemaker. This is why, people of God, I want you to know this. In this world, whatever you call it peace or whatever, no one can bring peace in this world except Jesus. Not even our leader, they cannot bring peace. Human beings are a very difficult nature to understand because of what they are carrying inside their heart. We have seen where a, 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 a man and a woman, a man who just tell the wife to say, follow me, we are going somewhere. Inside his heart, he's telling the wife, today I'm going to kill you. That is inside. The wife doesn't know the secret of the husband. Until they reach the point where now the man will say, you think you are clever. Today, I'll kill you and kill myself. But look at the children. Forget about that one. No one knows your heart except your father in heaven. Are you there, people of God? Jesus said, peace is what I live with you. I do not give it to you the way the world gives. The world can say peace. At the end of the day, they are beating you. Look at what is happening around the world. The whole entire world, people of God, this is what is, you know, surprises me. There is no country here on earth who can say we invest more money in food security more than in these weapons. They have put a lot of money in these weapons more than what? Food. The funding in that sector is more than the funding in this sector. Why must you invest in destruction? Why? Simply means you don't know what they call peace. If you know peace, you just say, okay, if it is the will of God, let me, like Stephen, he never reiterated or carried any sense to say, oh, so you are killing me. Before you finish me, let me kill one of you. He said, Father, forgive them. In this world, people of God, no one can tell you that uh, there will be peace unless you, the church, you, believers, you carry peace inside your heart. As a church, we are not praying our law. How? We are good in talking. But when it comes to the love of God, it is zero. If you say, I love you, eh? come here, let me go, uh, come here. If I tell this sister that I love you, it doesn't mean that as long as I am not a child of God, I mean, inside me, I'm carrying distraction. There is another girl I told yesterday, I love you. Are you there? I love you. In the morning, another girl who was talking to me, I said, I love you more than anyone. You, you are my country. This one, I said, when I see you, I feel like uh, I am in the, uh, inside the flight. I'm going to America. And this one will be breaking. Mulenga, love me. And yet, inside my heart, I'm saying you are a fool. You will be pregnant and I'm going to dump you. Are you there? That is the nature of human being. Not until when the spirit of God settled in your heart. You are representing the message of Jesus. You become a brother's keeper. You cannot destroy because you feel for this one. Look at the way people are dying in uh, Ukraine and Russia. Israel. How many children who have gone? Can you solve a problem using the problem? The answer is no. 
Jesus never fought anyone with a, a sword. He was a man of power. He was a man of what? Power. This is where now the word disappointment came to this life. Because we are not perfect. Have you ever heard Jesus said, oh, the Holy Spirit disappointed me. I sent the Holy Spirit to heal that man, but he, he refused. I thought he has gone. Have you ever heard that? No. God is the only perfect life. Are you calling this trust? Even these sisters, sometimes they carry three, four men. You see her walking uh, with a man like me. This is my daughter. Eh? And she has a boy who is younger than me. Me too. We are fighting for this girl. Uh, when the boy see us, we are walking like this. This one who, who tell that one at all is my uncle. <laughs> is my what? And yet, I am not the uncle. I am someone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is human being. It is only when Jesus take over your life, you become a brother's keeper. Jesus never, never, never fought anyone with a knife or a sword. What causes trouble in this world is in our heart. Is where? In our heart. Can you pray for your enemy? I'm talking to you children of God. Can you pray for your enemy? Hmm? Don't say yes. It is very easy to say yes. Can you pray for your enemy? Eh? Do you know your enemy? Eh? Do you know your enemy? I'm talking to women now. Can you pray for a, a, a woman who is uh, going out? You, you look at the Facebook. Napos, uh, Takale, Kobarina, our boss. Can you say, Father, protect them? I wish them your blessings. Can you do that? Why? Why? Okay, someone, you know, learn to, to say, ah. Your husband is in that room there. There is a hotel there with a, a lady. See the picture. Eh, see them. Then you say, oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Can you do that? No. Why? Hmm? Is an... Yes. Okay. okay, sir. If you, you hear that your wife is somewhere with a man inside the house, what are you going to do? The enemy... Uh, uh, okay, to 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 now I want you to know this Jesus knew that Judas Cariot is the one who is going to betray him he knew that this is the man who would turn against me they were together he never said, you criminal, before you kill me, let me kill you. No. The will of God has to be what? Fulfilled or be done in your life. My brother is telling us that I will be now looking for this man and not the place where this man is staying. Simply means it's either you carry petrol to go and bomb what? The house. Or you carry machete. Eh? Women. Okay, let me hear from women. You hear that your husband is there. You said you cannot pray for that sister to change. Hmm? You cannot pray for that sister to repent. 
and read married women, I mean married men, what will you do? Good much, Tasha. Hmm? Okay. Um, on my part, Daddy, yes, I would pray, but the type of prayer that I would give, mm. it can be a dangerous prayer. <laughs> ah. You hear her? She's saying I can pray, but the type of prayer that I can pray is dangerous. What? Yeah. Meaning that death must be part of that prayer. Mm. The only solution for me and my husband to be free is this woman to go. And you are forgetting that a spirit will never die. They let you go. That spirit will enter another person. You continue praying dangerous what? For how long? And how many people are you going to kill? Are you better than that one who is disturbing your marriage? Because you have become a witch now. He came so that you have what? Life. So you cannot pray for your enemy. Hmm? So you cannot... Okay. Okay, my sister. Uh, firstly, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is um, when I find out that my husband is cheating, I would rather talk to the lady and uh, encourage her uh, for the word of God. Then talk to my See, husband. Hear the church. They are saying no. No. They are saying no. If you have another <laughs> There are people who can do that. There are people who can do that. My sister has gone down already. <laughs> eh? So I met much to encourage you about when you change. Ah, I'm surprised. Eh? So you cannot pray for your enemy. Jesus. Mm. No wonder why in this world no one can talk about what? Peace. Because every human being wants to enjoy his own life or our own life. You do not care or think about your brother. And then you are saying the peace. Which peace are you talking about? We are talking about marriage. What about business? What about politics? All these areas. They are human beings calling different things inside their heart. Others are calling snakes. That is poison. A snake cannot care for anyone. If you carry that spirit, you will not feel for your brother or your sister. It is only you. Mm. Mm. The sister was saying, I, I, I thought uh, women would just say yes. Yes, me too, I can do that. No, Muntala Pusha no Pusha, no Mogranda to Bufugo. Takwa, Bufugo, Vincia Lelanda, Pobufi, Muntalenda, no Murume. Okay, suppose someone, you know, uh, borrowed money from you, and this person is unable to pay you back. You are a child of God. You know the situation of this sister or this brother. And the sister is begging you, no, please, just give me a chance. Give me a chance. For how long? Hmm? Can you wish your sister a good luck so that she can pay you back? Hmm? Hmm. Church. Money. Money. Can you wish your sister a good luck to say, oh, my brother or my sister, I think... Uh, uh, God will, 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 will remember you one day. Just take your time. Even after five years, you can pay me. If you cannot, no problem. Can you do that? Hmm? Ah, my brother said yes. Can you do that? Bambi Varelanda, Timuno Mudina Van Quatil and Congo, the Fuba Pasta Vambo Kulanda Tef. A Filipia di Pila. A Filipia Chitachani. message I want you to take this message seriously 
let me uh, take you to uh, the book of Matthew. Uh, Five verse 43. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Is it possible? Hmm? Do you know that these are the things Satan is using to hinder our prayer? These are the things Satan is using to block you. You pray to God every day. But what you are calling inside your heart is against what you are asking for. Jesus said, Father, I pray for all. Even those who change through their message. Niba nani benga shimiki leo message. Ini mwe wana ine. Imwenga tetimu kwa tiyo mutende. In this world, tamu wakatari ya mbo mutende. As long as believers has no peace, there will be no peace in this world. It is only the peace from above that can bring unity. My, my message uh, this morning, I, I don't want to take much of your time, but you know, I'm looking for this uh, John. Let's go to John again. Seventeen verse 20. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who believe in me through their message. Who preach this message that will change the world? It is you believers. Believers are not like people of this world. The way we see things and the way we understand life and the way the world understand life is not the same. It is your message that can change this world. It is your message that can change politicians. It is your message that can bring unity. If you, a believer, who goes to church every Sunday, you cannot carry peace inside your heart. What more those who are drinking beer? What more those who are in politics, who are fighting for positions? If you are fighting for one position, there's nothing like it. Uh, love your brother or love your sister. No, if you say I love you, you will take over my position. I would rather hate you. So fight well, well. But as a child of God, we are sent to represent Jesus. It is only believers who can bring unity in this world. Businessmen and women cannot bring unity. It is only believers. I pray not only for them alone, but also for those who believe in me through their message. It is you preaching the message of love, preaching the message of unity, preaching the message of forgiveness. This forgiveness we are talking about every day, no, I've forgiven this one inside your heart. Did you forgive? The answer is no. We grow spiritually through the relationship we keep by obeying the word of God, doing the word of God, sacrificing for the sake of the name Jesus to be known all over the world. Take note of this too. This is the only thing I want you to know this morning. It's either you carry destruction or you carry what? Peace. If you carry destruction, do you belong to the body of Christ? 
Hmm? I can't hear you. Do you belong to the body of Christ? You are carrying distraction. Jesus said, peace is what I live with you. Even in our families, society, husband and wife, children, sometimes you, you discover that there is tension. And no one is ready to be humble for the sake of the name Jesus to be honored. Because the highest percent in human beings' life is pride. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Peace is what we are here for. Jesus did not fight anyone physically. Our, our own battle is not in the flesh. It's in the spirit. Because of what? Salvation. I want to live that life. I want to see eternal life. respond. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. Before we sing this song, let me remind you this. What is the purpose of you? Being created as a human being in the image of God according to his likeness. Is it to be rich here on earth? Is it to be educated? Or to marry? Bearing children? All these things are there for just a while. But there is life. Life is more important. I told you that each and every country, they have invested a lot of money in security. More than food. Okay, go lend an knife in Mutumba. Go lend an inch. You could console who went down a knife. Yanshi knife went down. Why are you carrying a knife in your pocket? You are ready to kill. You, 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 you buy a gun. Uh, you are a pastor. You buy what? A gun. And the Bible said, <laughs> thou shalt not kill. Here is a criminal outside uh, with a gun too. And the criminal doesn't know that inside the house, the pastor is also holding what? A gun. What are you going to do to defend yourself? Because if that criminal entered your house, you know that he'll kill you. What are you going to do? Eh? <laughs> you shoot a human being after killing you say father I've killed a criminal eh? hmm? if you carry a weapon inside your pocket you are saying you are ready to use this what this weapon Jesus was not calling not even a razor blade only the word and the power was enough for him to handle the world. You can handle anyone, whether rich or poor, through the power of God. You can command and direct them as long as you are carrying that peace inside you. Because you cannot pray without peace in your heart. You can, you can even pray for our Lord to say, Father, I paralyze that agenda in Jesus' name. You are inside the closet and you are carrying that peace from above. There will be confusion. Others just say, no, we are not going to do this. You have prayed the prayer. Not even those who are saying to the media to say, no, we are going to broker. No, prayer can change anything as long as it is from the peace. And that peace is Jesus in you. Hallelujah. There are so many things that, uh, mm, let me just end there. I thought of, you know, talking about peace because of what is happening in this world is, is something, I don't know where we are going. I don't know. 
If we cannot allow Jesus to take over everything, look at earthquakes. It's now all over, even in Africa. It was layer before now. But now, even in Africa, Jesus, we need Jesus. Ask your neighbor, what are you calling inside? Are you calling Jesus? Oh, you are calling destruction. Take note of John 10, verse 10. Criminal mind cannot be trusted unless Jesus removed that, you know, criminal mind and replaced it with his presence. That's when you can say, this one is my brother or my sister. Amen. Eternal. Eternal. 